Leading scorer for Bohannon, a dangerous three-point threat. As the Hawkeyes look to thread the needle and a beautiful lay-in from Moss on the cut to the basket. 28% of their possessions where they score come in transition. This one is a three for Alexander Walker. Good job by Bibbs fronting in the post, taking away the option. Now one-on-one -on -one against the sophomore Cook, who spins, fades, and delivers. Wow. Soft touch off the glass. Lob for Garza inside through the double team. Height advantage if Iowa can use that. A little more ball movement, maybe a ball reversal than that shot. Just a couple of dribbles and right to the rim for Bayer, the redshirt junior out of Bettendorf, Iowa. Played in the first six games, maybe 20, 25 minutes for a guy who plays with full exertion every possession. Foul is on Garza, that's a big one. And in with the ball, coming off a 30-point performance. Last time out, career high for him. Whoa! How about that? Tyler Cook getting up with the left-hand slam. Tech trying to trap in the backcourt from the corner. Three around and out. Tip up and in by Cordell Pemsel, the sophomore from Dubuque, Iowa. Bear on corks and a wide three. And when you say Buzz Williams tracks everything, there's the basket. Well, it's important to her. I mean, he... He's very much an analytic guy, but he also has great feel over there about his team. And For Iowa, their height coming into this game. There's the look for Bibbs. He gets the three-pointer. Perhaps get some life, defense to offense, get out on the break. Contested look is pure for Bohannon. What a confident shooter. Taking a year off last year as a red shirt. Not exactly a year off, but started his season with the football program. Clark misses the follow for Horn. Bohannon into the paint. And a follow tip. Nicely done for Nunji, the freshman from Indiana. Bibbs leading the break on the kick out, and the three is good. The first made triple of the year for Chris Clark. Even with Garza out of the game with those two early fouls. It's a great matchup right here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Tyler Cook. Put this up for Sports Center. Check it out. Look invisible. Can that be a top 10? Can we put our nomination in right now, Mike? <laughs> Sports Center. Check it out. Hands up for that one. Well, Cook has Hill on him, another mismatch. Nunji with the follow off the miss from Pemsel. So the big man, Nunji at 6'11. See, so this is the speed that I'm talking about. I think Buzz Williams is going to take it out for a run right here and see how it goes as Hill sticks one from deep. Now he's fronting him in a post. Wagner, offensive rebound, turns it into a deuce. Robinson looking for the open man. It's Hill once again, and he makes the Hawkeyes pay. Tech's offense runs. There's always going to be somebody into that corner looking for an open shot. Extra effort. How about it? Here comes the break. Horn on the run, and he slams it. Iowa down four. Deep range. Bohannon. Wow. Automatic. Three for three outside the arc tasked with defending once they get into conference play. That's going to be a guy who's got to have the motor running at 100% all the time. A shot fake and a shutdown. That wasn't intended for Bohannon. He got underneath it. Oh my goodness, another three-pointer for Jordan Bohannon. Has not been rattled by the ball pressure of Virginia Tech, and he's doing his job knocking down triples. Limited in the first half to all of four minutes because of two early fouls. Gets outboarded there by KJ Blackshear. If Moss, number four in black, who just got rid of it, can get his offensive flow going. A big man guard skills. Hokies by three with a chance for more. Good look in the corner. Triple, and it falls for Justin Bibbs. Hill runs the floor, gets the bucket, and one for Ahmed Hill.
just got anybody on the floor for Virginia Tech who can start this break and anybody who can finish it. It just happens to be Justin Bibbs. Most dangerous spot for the ball to be for Iowa is when it gets right into the nail at the free throw line. Robinson shaking a score. Four. Look at this crossover to the rim. Beautiful. Clark, a capable scorer from just about anywhere. Hill gets right to the basket. Just slicing with ease through the defense. Four for four outside the arc. He's 0 for 4 0 inside the arc. Here's Clark. Here comes a third chance. Cook makes him pay. The first player out to warm up pregame, and that's all the shots he took were in the corner. A lot of them. The freshman Alexander Walker lowers the shoulder and gets rejected by Cook. <laughs> really good D by Chris Clark. He stonewalled Cook and Robinson with a 94 feet offense. Earlier today, after things got rolling last night, with Purdue picking up a 66-57 win over Louisville at Mackey Arena. Iowa continues to get unfriendly bounces. Bibbs on a beautiful feed from a fading hill. 102 points a game. They're not going to break the century mark here tonight with the level of competition going up a little bit. As Blackshear gets the reverse layup. Other teams will have to score with them. Aishi Daly cuts and scores. Hill, corner three. That's the corner three that I was talking about. Tech is seven of 24 from three point range tonight. And it was clear and concise, and it was a repetition as Daly dunks off the timeout. To the shoot around today, how different, can you give a picture for people, how different are his practices from other coaches? Preparation for game day. All the players understand the lingo, the language. They are very good at, different you know, animals. different animals. <laughs> it's just fun to listen to, to try and decode everything. Footer with great wingspan. You know, their, their five player, 6'10", Kerry Blackshear. He's very good around the rim. What a second half, and what a terrific job adjusting by Buzz Williams' team after we were all tied up at the break.